Hey, what's up, Sailor Senshi? I'm Sailor Snubs, and welcome to Sailor Senshi News Network. Today is June 17th, 2021, when I am recording this, and we have tons of news to catch up on, so let's go ahead and get started. I just released a video on a Fan Meeting 2021 ticket reservation tutorial. So if you are looking to go to the fan meeting 2021, which is happening on June 26, I already covered it in a previous news video, but if you want to know more, or if you are interested in purchasing those tickets, I did just do a tutorial and walkthrough to show you how you can get those, whether you're a fan club member or if you are purchasing as a general viewer. So definitely check out that video if you haven't already. I'm looking forward to watching this fan meeting live stream. Hopefully it's cute. I think it's gonna be really good. I hope we get news about Sailor Moon, Crystal Stars, Sailor Moon Stars, who knows what they're gonna call it, we'll see. All right, on to some merch news. First, we have a collaboration between the Jojo Senshi Sailor Moon Eternal and Naomi Watanabe's brand, which is called Punyus. So this is a plus size brand and they do have a lot of really cute clothes on their website as well. I'm interested to see what they do with this second collaboration. They have done, I believe, one collaboration previously, so this will be pretty interesting to see. We also have some new news from the Sailor Moon store. We have a new birthday acrylic stand that you can purchase. In fact, we have two. So first we have the Eternal Sailor Moon acrylic stand, which features, of course, Eternal Sailor Moon. We also have an Eternal Sailor Chibi Moon stand as well. Both of them have these cute little acrylic hearts behind them, and they also feature their titles on a front little logo design. These will be 2,200 yen each, and they are supposed to be releasing anytime now, mid-June 2021. So those will come out at the Sailor Moon store. Sailor Moon official announced that we have new goodies for the Pretty Guardians fan club. This includes some brand new makeup brushes. These are called the Pretty Guardians Original Heart Kumano Makeup Brush, which will be released as a new product for 2021 members of the Bishoujo Senshi Sailor Moon official fan club Pretty Guardians. These brushes use a traditional technique from Kumano Town, which is in Hiroshima Prefecture, which is known as the City of Brushes. And particularly, they use details that are difficult to produce by a machine. I love the description, it says that they they use goat wool that is soft and chewy. At least that's the translation from Google. There are two different color varieties. One is the pink version and one is the white version. The pink type is inspired by Sailor Moon. So we have the transformation brooch, the transformation pen, and also the Ginzu Isho is on the brush handle. The white type is inspired by the inner five guardians. It includes a motif from the bow on the front of the warrior's chest ribbon, and this also includes the moon stick on the back. It's really pretty. We don't have a release date on this yet, but it will be available on the fan club site, and each of these brushes will be 43.78 yen, that's about $40. The Sailor Moon store has also come out with some original mask charms without holes that will be on sale at the Sailor Moon store. These will release in late June 2021 for 660 yen each. So I saw these and I was like, what in the world are those? So these are made out of thin cloth and they can be attached to cloth. They look like little stickers. Apparently you can remove the mold, position them and attach them to the mask. and insert a back piece to the back side of the mask to complete it. So maybe it's like magnetic or something. I'm not really sure. I'm a little lost with the translation there, but this will be available at the Sailor Moon store as well as the fan club online. We also have a resale happening of these very cute Rosemary and Sailor Moon store etude ballet bags. So on these ballet bags, you have this really cute image of ballet shoes or ballet slippers for each of the Sailor Guardians, including Sailor Moon and Sailor Chibi Moon. They were apparently very popular, so they decided to resell them as well. There are 10 different versions that you can get, and each of them has a really cute ribbon that matches the ballet slippers that are printed on the front of it, and they can accommodate up to an A4 size for items. You can currently order these on Premium Bandai or the Rosemary Sior online store 
from June 12th, and it's also going to be available in August of 2021 for shipping. They will also be available at the Sailor Moon store in August. These bags cost 64.90 yen each, so they're quite pricey, but if you are into these brands and into these designs, then that's definitely something for you. Some new accessory charms have been announced, and these feature Sailor Moon Eternal icons. For example, we have the Crisis Moon Compact, we have the Legendary Holy Grail, both of those come with some cute little rhinestones. There's a Moon Kaleidoscope, Chibi Moon's Compact, and the Crystal Carillon. So orders for these started already on June 9th at Premium Bandai, and they are scheduled to be released in August of 2021. They will also be available at the Sailor Moon store and some general stores as well, but they do recommend making that reservation at Premium Bandai so you can definitely get your entire set. Single charms will cost 31.46 yen each, and an entire set will be 15,730 yen. That's about 150 bucks or so. These new die cut stickers are super, super cute. And these feature prints for each of the Sailor's Senshi. Not too much to go into detail with these. They are now available. And these feature some chibi character art and some scenes from the movies. They are durable PP coated stickers that are included in a cute mini envelope. They are scheduled to be released sequentially from August 2021 in vending machines. So look for those in vending machines if you are in Japan in August of 2021. These will be 200 yen per play. This new character mask is now available as well. Uh, this one is actually pretty cool. This is a adult version of a character mask. And the reason why is because it's slightly larger to accommodate an adult facial size. And this does feature a bunch of glittering rhinestones on it. And apparently this was done under the supervision of Naoko Takahashi which is pretty interesting. If you want to grab one of these, the reservations start on June 14th, just this last week, and they are scheduled for a release in October. These will cost 2200 yen each. If you're wondering why masks are still being distributed in Japan, the pandemic has not disappeared because we got vaccines over here in the United States. It's still pretty bad in other countries, and also in the winter time and in the fall time, anytime that there's a flu season or a cold season, it's totally normal normal to see everybody wearing masks, especially if they are in public transit or in very, very populated areas, just to keep down all of those potential viruses. That's been the norm for years, and I really hope that America catches on because we would have many less people sick if that was the case. Okay, on to some more information about the movies on DVD and Blu-ray. We finally got the full illustration of the jacket that is going to come on both the Blu-ray and the DVD. This was designed by the illustrator Kazuko Tadano, and this depicts all of the eternal sailor warriors against this silver crystal background. It's very, very pretty, and I can't wait to see it actually printed out on the merchandise. So speaking of the Blu-ray and DVD, we now do know what all of the extras are going to be from all of the different Japanese stores. This is pretty normal, where if you buy it from a specific store, you will get some kind of little bonus item or bonus release. So we already knew that we were going to get acrylic stands from places like the Sailor Moon store and the Pretty Guardians fan club, but now we actually know what those acrylic stands are going to look like. So we have all of the inner Sailor Senshi, all of the outer Sailor Senshi, and those are going to go with King E Shop and Sailor Moon Store. The inner Sailor Senshi come with the Pretty Guardians orders. We also know now that on Amazon JP, you will get this really cool looking framed print. That's one of the ones that I pre-ordered. And it looks like this last one is sold by Animate. We also have the clear file prints. So if you order from Pretty Guardians or King eShop, Pretty Guardians will get a basically the same illustration that you see on the DVD and Blu-ray. King eShop will get one that features each Eternal Sailor Moon and Chibiusa. The Sailor Moon store will come equipped with a poster. That's so cool. I wish I was able to shop at the Sailor Moon store. And then each of the other retailers is going to receive one that features 
either two of the inner Sailor Senshi or two of the outer Sailor Senshi. By the way, if anybody is ordering from Tower Records and you don't want your Sailor Pluto and Sailor Saturn clear file, I'm going to have the Sailor Neptune and Sailor Uranus clear file, so I'm more than happy to trade, so just let me know. While I'm on the topic of the Blu-ray and DVD, the Sailor Moon official YouTube channel has been releasing a ton of really interesting footage, so if you want to see some interviews or some really, really short previews of some of the content that's going to be available on these discs, make sure you're subscribed to the Sailor Moon official YouTube channel. All right, moving on, we also have a short little bit of information about the musical, which is happening in September of 2021 in Japan. We now know that the premium seats will come with a couple of freebies. You'll get an acrylic stand as well as a cute little merchandise like an eco bag. We've also seen a performance schedule and we also know that the tickets are now selling. Let's move over to some international merchandise. If you order from Box Lunch, they now have Q Poskets all over the place. They have Sailor Jupiter, they got Sailor Venus, Sailor Mars is up there too. You got all sorts. So if you're looking for Q Poskets, they have a lot to choose from. So whether you like the pastel versions or version A, the animation version colors, then you can grab all your super fun ones over there. Now Hot Topic has been hot off the presses with all of their Sailor Moon merchandise lately. It is hard to keep up, but they have a ton of really cute stuff coming out. We have some new loungewear, which is available in regular and plus sizes. We also have a new black t-shirt, which is a girl's crop t-shirt. There is a new girl's tie-dye tube top. I heard that one is really thin from some folks on IG, so keep that in mind if you decide to purchase it. There's a brand new backpack out, which retails for $52.90. It's currently on sale, by the way, for 20% off. The backpack is very big. I've seen some photos of it from in inside the stores, and it is a pretty decent size backpack. However, this is not going to be the same quality as, for example, the lounge fly backpacks that we saw previously, so keep that in mind if you choose to purchase it. It might not last as long as those. The masks are back in stock, so we have a variety of masks you can choose from if you are still purchasing masks. We also have some really cute girls baby t-shirts, and there's this really cool, almost a vintage, like 1990s inspired Sailor Moon silhouette power t-shirt. This does come in men's sizes, so I'm definitely going to size down if I do choose to purchase that cute shirt, which I probably will. I also wanted to mention that those snow globe blind box characters, they are back in stock. Hot Topic also has the series four blind bags of the figural keychains. Those are in stock. So plenty of goodies to choose from. I know that a lot of people were interested in quite a few of those items. So keep an eye on Hot Topic because they do seem to be releasing quite a few new merchandise items lately. So Stunned Mind, I added this one to my round table thanks to Ochiba Wolf. They have a bunch of products that we have seen released at Hot Topic and Box Lunch. For example, the cute little mask. We also have the soup mug. I have one of those. It's awesome. Highly recommend it. They also have those snow globes if you're looking for them. And the teacup and saucer, which I totally missed out on. I didn't get a chance to purchase these when they came out originally, so I'm going to grab those. But they have this really cute new sunshade, so I wanted to point this out. Uh, the sunshade is $29.99. I have the sunshade that has Luna and Artemis on it, and it works really well, but I want this one with all of the inner Sailor Senshi. It's super cute. So again, that's at Stunned Mine. I will put the link down below. Okay, so this was pretty exciting, and it came all of a sudden. Grace Gift announced a summer 2021 Sailor Moon Crystal collection, and this one featured some clothing, some purses, and some shoes. I did get an order in, and I have already recorded my review video, so if you haven't subscribed, definitely do so if you want to see that review. It's coming out very, very soon. But if you go over to their website, there is a very cute denim skirt, there's a pair of denim pants, there's a new t-shirt, there's purses, there's a couple of wallet designs, and some cute little short wallets featuring the kitty. We have these really nice, what look like premium leather 
Sailor Moon sneakers. I haven't purchased those yet, but I'm debating on getting one of these pairs. They do come in my size, at least this one does. However, this one is not available in my size. Very strange. We also got several different kinds of sneakers. So I did order this brooch buckle sneaker in a size 41. I also got the Luna sneaker at this black pair in a size 41. So I will be reviewing both of those for you very shortly. These pairs of molars are also brand new on the Grace Gift website. So if that is a style that you are looking for, then those are now available. And several of the sizes are still in stock. So you can definitely go over there and order whatever you want. And if you have never ordered from Grace Gift, definitely check out my tutorial. I have done a tutorial on how to order from their website. So check that out before you freak out on the prices. I do have mine set to USD, but when you first go to their website, it's set in new Taiwan dollars. So just FYI, if you go up to the very top, you can change that from new Taiwan dollars to USD down at the bottom. So I always switch it over to USD just so I know how much I'm going to be paying. A few quick little merch snippets that I did want to mention. GHL is taking pre orders for this really cute 7-Eleven and Sailor Moon cup. I thought this was such a cute cold cup, so I did order one. It's adorable. Okay, last but definitely not least, in no way, shape, or form, Sailor Art over on Instagram posted this amazing video of the new Tsume Art figure that is coming out and shipping to people. It's finally shipping. We've been waiting for this thing for like a, over a year easily. I know because my old address is still on the thing, so I need to update that. I haven't gotten my shipping confirmation yet, so I can't review it for you quite yet, but it looks absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait till mine ships. And there is an excellent video of Sailor Art putting it together and basically taking it out of the box. We get a nice little unboxing, we get some actual photos and actual video of what this figure looks like. So I really appreciate this video and the photography that Sailor Art took of their unboxing. The figure looks amazing. I'm totally speechless. I can't wait to see this. This is the Sailor Moon HQS statue by Tsume Art. This was a very expensive figure, so I'm really, really stoked for mine to finally get here. Uh, hopefully I'll get that shipping confirmation soon. And last but definitely not least, if you are in the US, and if you have a Hobby Lobby near you, and if you have not pre-ordered this adorable bank yet, well, you can now find it over at Hobby Lobby. So props to my new friend on Twitter, Mio Collector, for sharing these photos. They also shared a photo of the bottom of it, and you also know what the stock number is. These sell for $19.99, and they can be found near Pops, apparently. They can be found near car models and near a little Goku bank as well. So if you're looking for a cute little piggy bank, there's a Sailor Moon one available. So keep an eye out if you're going to Hobby Lobby. Okay, well, I think that is about it for today. Don't forget to subscribe, especially if you are interested in seeing the beautiful, beautiful glass kaleidoscope replica from the Sailor Moon movie. I just reviewed mine and I am posting that video very shortly. I can't wait to show you it. I was actually able to grab this picture from the inside of the kaleidoscope and I was like, Holy crap, it looks amazing. So I'm really, really excited to share that video with y'all. Again, thank you so much for subscribing. Thanks for everything that y'all do. And I really appreciate the community. I love reading your comments. I read every single one of them. And I really appreciate everyone who comes over here and supports my content. Again, my name is Sailor Snubs and I will see you next time. Johnny. <laughs>